Hey there, what is going on? I'm gonna show you how to work with the spiral tool. But before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get uh, daily updates. Okay, I just made this with the spiral tool. It's uh, really hypnotic. You can, you can do a lot of tricks with the spiral tool and you can find it right here. This is the spiral tool. Usually it, it, it's on the line segment tool. It looks like it looks like this. So I'm going to select the spiral tool and uh, make sure you're on the stroke and you have uh, the fill um, basically empty. Usually when you access uh, the software, you, when you enter on the software, the, the fill is white. So make sure you click on this. So it's on, you know, basically it doesn't contain any, any color right now. So we're on the stroke. Uh, I just selected the spiral tool and I'm going to press shift plus alt, press and hold. And as you can see, this is the default. This is how it looks when you try to create a um, spiral. Uh, you need to press and hold alt. Sorry, not alt. Actually, wait, control. Yeah. So basically I did this with uh, press and hold control and you can see it adds more um, circles. I mean, it's more like more uh, circular. If I drag it and it does some crazy stuff, I'm gonna go and um, just a sec, leave it like this. I'm gonna scale it up. Actually, wait a sec. It's on uh, just a sec. It's on another language, so I don't know the keywords right now. I'm going to do this again because there's like another stuff I want to show you because, you know, so this is and now this is the default because I just edited because I just pressed and hold the control and uh, yeah, starts to look more interesting. So I'm going to leave like this. I won't. Um, I will re release the control, but I won't release uh, the mouse click. So I, it's basically remains the same. And I'm going to press the upper key. As you can see, it's, it basically creates like more circles. If I press down, it basically removes. So I'm going to make more. It's going to look, look something like this. Okay, there's like another stuff going on there. I didn't delete that, but uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's get back. So this is the spiral. And right now I'm going to go here, the stroke menu and select the profile. I'm going to choose with profile number four. As you can see, it's a, it's an it's in the wrong profile because here is thick and here is thin. So I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna press this flip along. So right now here is a thin and here is thick. I'm gonna increase the stroke by let me see. Hmm, twelve. Looks interesting. So yeah, this is one of the spiral options. And I'm gonna play around with another one. I'm gonna press and hold control. And I'm gonna do it like this now this time. So, um, right now, as you can see, uh, I'm outside of the circle. I'm gonna release the control and I'm gonna press the arrow. And now it's creating a uh, and it, at the inside, you know, like those circles. It's a lot of fun doing this stuff. Basically, it's the same stuff, but uh, vice versa. I'm going to scale it up. Actually, I'm going to press I or go here to eyedropper tool and just click on this. Oh, no, it didn't uh, include also the profile, it just uh, selected the thickness. So I go, I'm going to go to the stroke, I'm going to select the profile, go to the profile 4. And nothing happened. What is going on? Oh, okay. 
Oh my god, look at that. I just guess, discovered the new stuff here. So uh, it's like too thick, or obviously. So I'm gonna scale it down, and you can see like it starts to come to life. But this form is really, I like it. I gotta, uh, I gotta leave it like this because it's like it looks like a tunnel. And I'm going to um, create a new copy. And I can decrease the stroke even more. Look at that. And uh, yeah, this is how you experiment, you know. This is how you experiment with new stuff. With abstract forms and shapes. I just, I, I'm just discovering new things, you know. And I'm creating like more copies. I like to do abstract art or design or whatever is that called i'm going to decrease this one like this okay so this is how it should look like this is what i was uh thinking about but there's like another alternative also um i'm gonna put this uh, back to default the spiral right now we're at this i'm gonna press and hold alt and i'm going to make it something like this i saw some tutorials but uh wait a minute it's not working damn look at that oh my god nah right now it's not working but it should be this i'm gonna create a new copy and uh, i'm gonna press and hold shift Rotate it once. I'm gonna put it here. This is like also a new form. Ah, uh, I can't remember the real form, like uh, because I had another idea. Control C, Control F, but I can't remember how it's done. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna. Make the same thing actually. I'm gonna go to profile four. I'm gonna increase the stroke, and we got some interesting hypnotic things going on. Uh, yeah, basically you can do a lot of stuff with these, um, but I like this one. I'm curious how it's going to look after I expand, but uh, yeah, you can uh, practice with uh, with this all day, all night. Let me try another option. I'm going to press control. I mean, shift long. I'm going to put this somewhere around here. Ah, it doesn't work. But anyways. This was the tutorial and this is how you work with the spiral tool. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't, don't forget to check the rest of the videos with uh, abstract tutorials or uh, yeah. And have a great day. Bye bye.